All right, welcome again everybody to Sutter Vlogs. It's time again for another video. In last week's video, I talked about how I use the Corvette Z06 as my daily driver. Well, nothing illustrates that better than how dirty the car is right now. So today, I want to teach you more about what I've learned about Apple CarPlay, which honestly isn't a whole lot. But nonetheless, I still wanna share with you what I've learned because there are some pretty cool features about it. And if you haven't used it yet, you might want to. I'm not sure if any of you are as particular as I am, but I don't like to work in a dirty environment. So before we get started, I'm going to clean the car. All right, it's all done. I wish it was always that easy. All right, so some of you out there, I know what you're thinking. You missed a spot. Well, I know, I know, it's not perfect, but it'll do for now. So let's get on to the next segment of this vlog. All right, the car is clean, we're in my Corvette now, and we're gonna talk Apple CarPlay. So first of all, what is Apple CarPlay? Apple CarPlay is a feature offered through General Motors' MyLink system. It takes some of the iPhone features and displays them in a simple way on the internal video screen here in your Corvette. So stepping back, the MyLink system is actually General Motors' infotainment system that is uh, installed in many of their current models. I believe that MyLink actually was installed for the first time in the 2012 model year. It came with two different size screens, a 7 inch and an 8 inch. And in the 2016 model year, Apple CarPlay was introduced and added to the MyLink system. It's my understanding that Google actually has an Android version of Apple CarPlay and it also is available in the MyLink system but only in the 7 inch screens. And what I found out was that Corvettes only come with the 8 inch screen so unfortunately the Google Android uh, version of Apple CarPlay is not available in the Corvettes, but Apple CarPlay is, and that's what we'll talk about today. I accidentally ran across Apple CarPlay in the car when I was driving it home for the first time from the dealership. I didn't even realize that the Corvette or that Chevy actually had introduced Apple CarPlay into any of their vehicles, and um, and, and actually at that time I didn't even know what Apple CarPlay was. So I happened across some pretty cool features of Apple CarPlay and those are what I want to focus on today. I'm not going to get into all the technical details of what Apple CarPlay does, but I will touch on some of the aspects of Apple CarPlay that I really appreciate. So let's start here. This is General Motors MyLink infotainment system. So what you need next for Apple CarPlay is your iPhone and a lightning cable so that you can plug the iPhone into your car. So the first thing you need to do is plug in the lightning jack into your iPhone and then take the USB plug and insert it into any USB port in your car. So one thing that I didn't realize is that Apple CarPlay will only work if you wire your iPhone into the car. You can plug it into any jack, but as I got to know my car and realized that there's a USB port behind this nifty slide down screen, I like to plug my phone into the USB port there. So once you've successfully connected to the MyLink system, your iPhone should actually give you a CarPlay splash screen to verify that you're connected. Then what I like to do is actually take my phone and tuck it away inside the hidden compartment so that it is not any distraction to me. An Apple CarPlay icon will also appear on the home screen of your MyLink system to verify from this side that you've made a successful connection. So to go into the CarPlay interface on your MyLink screen, you just need to press the Apple CarPlay icon. That brings up a very simple Apple-styled screen of icons. Apple CarPlay 
only takes a handful of the applications that are on your phone and makes them available through the MyLink system. And I believe Apple does this for the simple fact that they want to provide helpful features to you while you're in the car or while you're driving, but they don't want to provide distractions. So basically there are only a very small handful of third-party apps that are even available through the system at this point. So the functionality of Apple CarPlay is somewhat limited, but I think that's a good thing for now. As this system gets used more and more and becomes more prevalent, I believe that there will be all sorts of new features and functions that are availed to the system, but only in a way that it will still be able to be leveraged safely by the driver on the road. I'm not going to dive into the details of all the functionality offered through all the different apps and features available through Apple CarPlay. I'm just going to point out some of the features that I find really cool. So for the most part, I'm with Apple. I don't want to have the distraction of content and applications on this screen that I'm going to interact with while I'm driving. The features and functions that I want to focus on the most in this blog all have to do with voice activation. I love the fact that I can actually be driving down the road, never have to take my hands off the wheel to answer a phone call, to activate my maps, or to even receive and send text messages. That's what's the most impressive to me in this whole system. So as an example here, let me show you, I am going to make a call to my son Todd. I'm going to press the voice activation button on my steering wheel. Call Todd Sutter. Calling Todd Sutter. Hey, what's up? Hey, sorry to bug you. I was just calling because I'm okay. Good. Okay, sounds good. All right, thanks, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Bye. All right, so that was a good example of actually being able to make a call without ever even taking my hands off the wheel. So at this juncture, I'm going to see if I can text Todd a message. I'm going to press the voice activation button on my steering wheel and awake Siri again. Text Todd Sutter. What do you want to say to Todd Sutter? Hey buddy, I just wanted to check in and see how you're doing. Your reply says, Hey buddy, I just wanted to check in and see how you're doing. Ready to send it? Yes. I'll send it. So it's as easy as that. Now, if Todd replies, I should get a notification without ever having to take my hands off the wheel again. All right, so that worked pretty slick so far. I've not taken my hands off the wheel once except to grab this camera and talk to you guys. So Todd responded and it now indicates on my messages icon that there is one unread message so I'm going to retrieve that message again without taking my hands off the wheel. Siri, read text messages. You have a message from Todd. Oh hey, I am doing swell. Would you like to reply? No, not now. Okay. A piece that I haven't leveraged much yet, but I did the first day that I bought the car on my way back from Illinois is the maps feature. Take me to Henry Dorley Zoo. Getting directions to Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium. And navigation. Okay, it stopped now. Another fascinating hands-free feature is to be able to call up music that you have stored on your phone. So in this case, I can ask Siri to play a specific song for me. Siri, play Say Something. Say Something by Anthem Lights now playing. So that's a few examples of how you can leverage the Apple CarPlay system through voice activation, never having to take your hands off the wheel or your eyes off the road. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I thank you guys for watching and until next time.
I guess that's it. Is there anything else that I need to say? Just until we